Uh, hello and welcome to another video by Runner XPT. First and foremost, nothing in this video constitutes as financial advice. Uh, this video is not sponsored by BidHedge or VeloData. I'm making this video because I've been playing around uh, with the tool for a few days now. I like it a lot and I just want to make a quick video how I used it so far and my first thoughts and opinions. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. This is the official uh, Velo data from now on. I'm just going to say Velo um, Twitter. BidHedge is the founder who is a super nice uh, and very smart guy. If you've been on crypto Twitter, you've probably, uh, probably seen him around. And without further ado, uh, we're going to talk about Velo. So first, uh, first things first, you can switch between white and dark mode. I'm not a psychopath, so I'm gonna uh, keep with the dark mode. In the top right corner, uh, you have your sort of personal account uh, page. You can switch the time zone between local and UTC. I'm gonna stay with local. So I'm gonna go uh, over all the all the tools available, and I'm gonna comment how I use them. Uh, if I use them, um, for the most part, I use charts and futures. So first CME. Uh, you can look at either Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum on different time frames so for all the tabs this is where you choose your time frames or you can choose uh, you can change them within each chart individually i think this section is super relevant uh, given the current if you're watching this video around uh june 30th or whatever june july or summer 2023 we just had a blackrock spot etf application and all the other guys like fidelity and whatever all the boomers basically filing for spot ETFs and is you can actually see it here on June 15, June 16th. This is where the application came in. Uh, these are CME futures open interest. We can see it almost doubled. It's like I don't know 70, 80 percent uh, gain, and it's uh, elevated, elevated, elevated levels. Uh, same for options and overall futures volume, which is also ticking up. So moving on, or also you can make the you can make the screen uh, full screen. You can take the classic. Oops, I um, have to edit it out. So now for market, uh, in, on this page you can see uh, funding heat map or liquidations uh, heat map for large caps, mid caps and small caps. If you want to know what are within these categories, you can see it here in the uh, left corner. It, uh, yeah, you can read for yourself. Again, you can change the time frames. What is very interesting, especially today, given how many altcoins pumped in the last few days, uh, you can see the returns uh, of a basket, uh, the best performing baskets have been Litecoin, Bit Bitcoin Cash, uh, ETC, Aave and Solana and Pepe. Yeah, I'm sure you can read for yourself. And what is something I haven't seen with competitor tools, uh, which is pretty interesting, is open interest changes. So this is like your classic spaghettis but with open interest so you can see the biggest open interest change you can see these spike ups which is pretty interesting actually yeah it's no surprise the strongest coins uh, are the ones with biggest open interest change so yeah moving on oh, fuck. uh we're gonna talk about options um Honestly, I don't really trade options, never tried. Uh, whenever I tried to l learn more about them, I just got confused and started crying in the corner. So I'm just gonna scroll through it and not gonna pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I know a lot of my smarter friends use this. You, know, you can add Greeks and this is the part where I get confused, <laughs> but that's fine. But yeah, you have all sorts of stuff from implied volatility to skews to correlations, all the good stuff. So for option traders, Bitcoin and Eve, let's go. Now let's move to something that's more, uh, something I'm not afraid of, uh, futures tab. So in, on this on this tab, uh, you can choose between all the coins that are available right now. I'm gonna get more to this, but as you can see, there is not all the coins you might be used to trading on your favorite exchange, be that Binance or Bybit. Uh, there's, yeah, not all of them, but uh, with this example, we'll go with Bitcoin. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows what the, what are we talking about? Uh, we can look at. Let's look at uh, monthly data. So if I change uh, the time frame here, the data changes for all of the charts. So if you look, if I go to daily, all the charts move right or change. Sorry. So for now, I'll go with 
I'll go with uh, monthly. Uh, we can see the classic volume, open interest, Binance dominating, no surprise there. Uh, Bitcoin price, Bitcoin volume, basis. But what I like the most, probably, and what I think is the most useful or interesting, or something you don't really see with other tools, is you have um, average returns by hour. So maybe, for example, if you're planning your day, you want to go to a gym or for a run, if you're a runner, um, you can see it's probably good if you're European to go in the morning. It's usually the least volatile. But in the afternoon during um, US session, this is like evening for me. This is like where you have all the action right before the sleep. So this is where I, I know in the evenings I should I should try to be at my desk. Then you have returns by day. Uh, Tuesdays are the best performing days so far because also on Tuesday we had the BlackRock spot ETF application. So that day we ripped like 10 or 15 percent or whatever. And probably the best, uh, my personal opinion, best chart of this uh, of this screen is cumulative returns by session. So blue line is the U.S. session, as you can see uh, in the in this like explana explanatory box below. This is super interesting because you see like Bitcoin is basically has the best returns during uh, U.S. hours. So depending on your time zone, maybe you want to adjust whenever you're trading, whenever you're whenever you plan your and schedule your day, basically. So yeah, if you look even on the last six months, it's been uh, basically since the beginning of the year, you can see US is clearly dominating. While during Asia session, we've barely, we've barely earned profit, or like if you're long only. So this is super, super interesting. Like I cannot emphasize this enough. These charts are something I'm gonna be looking at pretty much daily just to make sure I stay in check and the part I use the most uh, is chart. Uh, so this might look familiar. This is the classic trading view layout uh, setup uh, looks exactly like some of the competitors. The difference is uh, in the in the top, uh, sorry, in the right corner, you have uh, this slideable uh, watch list. Let me make it. Uh, let me make it actually default. So by default, it looks something like this. You have all sorts of data from price, 24 hour change, volume, open interest, funding, liquidations uh, and hours. To me personally, this is a bit noisy. So I just usually go for this price and 24 hour change. If you want these other data, it's actually interesting because it sort of combines uh, stuff you could be using uh, like Vitas or Orion Terminal or whatever different scanners you, you could be using. And I like to focus on favorite coins only. You can make them favorite by yourself. Obviously, this is not made for you. Uh, when I'm trading or when I'm actively uh, using the tool, I usually just have it like this because my brain remembers the prices. I know uh, the levels where I want to do business. So this is very big, a big like benefit of this tool is watch list, pretty much unlimited watch list. So this is the classic uh, trading view layout. If you want to change the colors, obviously the, by default, they do not look like this. You can click this clock here and change it, uh, whatever you like. Uh, nothing new here. If you have no clue what uh, you're doing at this part, you can just go on YouTube and Google trading view, uh, color, like whatever. Uh, there's going to be a lot of tutorials what to do. If you want to flip between the coins, uh, you can also type here. So um, obviously someone trading order flow, uh, personally, uh, you want to be looking at all sorts of indicators. So as you can see, I have liquidations, open interest, spot, aggregated spot volume and aggregated volume and aggregated funding. So volume is essentially in this example is CVD. Uh, if you want to add all these indicators, you have to click here, indicators. And what I like about Velo is that you don't have a billion different indicators. It's very clean. It's mostly stuff that people actually use. I'm not going to do the maths, but it's like 15, 20 indicators, not uh, like hundreds what competitors would have. So let's say I want to add, uh, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to make CVDs uh, be in line, because if I'm going to add, let me add spot volume, right? So this should be spot CVD. So if you look, if I just add it and don't change it, it looks like this. Uh, this is not a format I personally like. If you do, uh, fine. <laughs> no no shame in that. But if you're used to this format, I'm going to show you how to do it. So you have to go to the settings and you want to do the, change the view to cumulative delta. 
and here we go so then you can just change the color to whatever you like and that's it so you have your spot CVD if you want to move the paints you can click the arrows if you want to add it if you want to add it with the paint above you can do the three dots move to existing paint above or below and that's it personally when I'm doing my analysis uh, these figures can be a bit noisy at times so you can just click the arrow up and it's clean again so a few suggestions that I think Velo as of right now is missing is and I talked to Bid Hedge about this. This is not like a this. Uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, the team is gonna work on this. Uh, even though I'm 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 confident this is not the top priority. Whenever I'm doing my analysis, I like to have my favorite trading view tools uh, highlighted. So you might uh, recognize there is this. There is no star here, which you can usually like favorite your tools. So whatever I, I draw, maybe I want to do text. Uh, Right, so I want to be doing all sorts of stuff, but I have to constantly click. And I'm just used to having my little box of favorite tools, but um, I'm pretty sure that's a work in progress and obviously not, not a priority. Uh, some like first initial thoughts, Velo, this tool I'm, I'm showcasing here feels very, very smooth. Like whenever I'm, I work uh, in the space, uh, sorry not in the space like when i work with the website it feels really really smooth it never lags and it just overall very nice experience one thing i forgot to mention is you can swap between uh, candle and line chart but also toggle panes so i can go from one chart so let's say here i'm looking at bitcoin usdt bitcoin uh, sorry binance but i could be looking at two charts at the same time. So let's say two altcoins you want to be looking at. It's as you can see includes the drawing, but at maximum you can have four charts, which is pretty cool. Obviously I'm recording this uh, on a smaller laptop. So this resolution fits YouTube, but you can have up to four charts, which I think is really, really cool. And something that a lot of competitor tools do not, uh, do not offer as of right now. So I guess my initial summary because I don't want to drag this out too much and I assume most of you know how to change stuff in trading you use trading view or other competitor tools um, it feels really smooth I really like it uh, the only few things that need a bit of fixing is uh, adding adding all the all the coins that are uh, that we, we can trade and maybe making this uh, make giving us ability uh, to favorite uh, favorite the tools, but um, honestly, apart from that, that's a pretty pretty decent tool. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.